Hello, sir. Uh, in this video, we'll see uh, the second category of uh, problems uh, in the prediction of claims, where we call them as a locus line problem, where we need to find either alpha or a beta depending upon the inclination and the third position uh, to which plane we uh, implant. In the first category, normally, in a, a plane, uh, we see a plane, okay, any plane, which will be resting on the HP with one of its edges. Okay, it will be resting on one of its edges. And in the second position, the lamina will be inclined to the HP. And in the third position, the edge on which it treads is inclined to the VP at the 60 degree. Okay, so that means whenever we look for such a problem, uh, we normally take up the things like it is, if it is resting on one of its uh, edges on the HP. The first thing is like we will write HP. Then second thing we will write one more HP and we will write VP. It means once a, a plane is in, uh, resting on the HP, the next uh, the plane will be inclined to the HP. Then in third position, the plane will be inclined to the VP. Okay, so like that. So if the same thing is a plane is resting on the VP, then this will be changed, it will be resting on the VP. So in the second position, it will be inclined to the VP only. Then at the last, it will be inclined to the HP. Okay, so these are the two things which normally we come across in the projection of a plane. Okay, so whenever you uh, look for any problem, okay, so now if you take up the first one, here we will have an equilateral triangular lamina 27 side uh, lies with one of its edges on the HP. That means it is resting on the HP initially. So once we come across it is resting on HP, so we can write HP, HP and VP. Okay. Or if it is resting on the VP, then we will write like this. So next, uh, the next question will be it is resting on HP on what? On what means we will be having only two options in the plane. Either it will be resting on one of its edges with the corner. So now here you can see it is resting on one of its edges on the HP. Okay. So either it will be on the corner or maybe the edges. So now you can see here the triangular plane 27 resting on HP with one of its corners. Okay. Either it will be edge or it will be a corner. So clearly they will mention whether it is resting on edge or a corner. So once we come across here, so we can write it. So on HP, it is resting on one of its head. Okay. So the next one will be what is inclined to the HP. Okay. Once you look to that one, you can look for the word which gives inclination with respect to the HP. So what is inclined to the HP? It is inclined at 60 degree. What the, the lamina is inclined. Okay. That means here we can write in the second category the lamina is inclined at an angle of 60 degree. To the HP. Okay. And uh, the last we need to look for a word which gives inclination with respect to the VP. Now, what is inclined to the VP? Okay, the edge on which it rests. Okay, here whenever we look for a triangle, we'll be having the three edges, but to which edge is inclined? The resting edge. The resting edge will be inclined at an angle of 60 degree to the VP. So that third one will take it as resting edge at the Okay, so whenever we see any problem, okay, in a plane, okay, the first thing we need to see whether it is resting on edge or a corner. Next thing is inclination with the HP. Next thing will be inclination with the VP. So these are the three things which normally we need to understand whenever we are going to look for any problem with respect to the plane. Okay, so now if you go back and if you see, say for example. <laughs> number 8. Okay. So, if you read this term, uh, a square lamina 41 side rests on one of its sides on HP. The lamina makes 30 degree to HP and the side on which it rests makes 45 degree to the VP. Okay. Means uh, only the lamina is changed. So, it is resting on HP with one of its sides. Side is nothing but a head and the lamina makes 30 degree to the HP and the side on which it rests. Again, you can see the sentence is in an attitude. Okay. The same thing if you take up a pentagon and if you read that one, 
it is resting on HP with one of its side such that the surface makes 60 degree to the HP and the edge on which it rests is inclined at 45 degree to the DP. Okay. So even if you look for one more problem, okay, hexagon rests on one of its sides on HP, lamina makes 45 degree to HP and the side on which it rests makes 30 degree to the DP. Okay. That means like if you see okay, any of the problem in this uh, category, you can see like it is resting on the HP with one of its sides and the lamina makes some angle with the HP and the edge on which it rests makes an angle also, some angle with the DP. Now, uh, if you take a second one here, if you take up this problem, a hexagonal lamina, 35 mm side, rests on one of its sides on VP. Okay, here it is on HP, so here it is on VP. So, VP means what we said, the things will change up and you will have this one, VP, VP and HP. The rest of them will remain as it is. You can see, it is resting on side on its VP, the lamina makes a 45 degree to the VP and the side on which it rests makes 45 degree to the HP. That means uh, all these three sentences will remain as it is. Okay, only the change is with respect to the rest. Thing. Okay, so this if you are able to understand these two things properly, then the remaining things will be easy for us. Okay, so now let's take up like this one aside. Okay, if you take up problem number eight. Uh, Let's go with a simple one where we can finish up here. There is a square lamina, 40 degree, resting on one of its sides on HP. Lamina is 30 degree to HP and 45 degree to VP. Okay, that means uh, we will take up a line first, uh, a thin line where we drop a XY line. Okay, then we go to the text, uh, then we will write up here this is 5 ml, write it out. Okay. Then there is a square lamina resting on HP. Resting on HP means visible in the top view first. We will take up 0.5, we'll enter 40, enter 40, enter and 0. So we'll get a, a square lamina. Okay. So once you do any plane, first you go to the smart dimension, click here, okay, you'll get 40. So in order to insert a square symbol, select this dimension, there is a prefix command which will be available, click on the square and click OK, so you will get a square symbol here, ok, now go to the text command, that's what R, we say this is A, this is B, this is C, this is a B, ok, so once this one is done, so the same square line in the front view, it looks like a line, so we need to take a position line from point B till X, Y line, from point C till Okay, and change the line thickness to 0.5, join from this one to this one. Now, this whatever the plane we are viewing from the bottom side, and this point will be our a dash in the bracket b dash, and this point will be b dash in the bracket. B dash. Okay, that means the one which is not visible to us will be in the bracket, the one which is visible to us will be also in the so now, the surface of the lamina makes a 30 degree by HP. That is what we observe here. The lamina makes a 30 degree by HP. So now, the lamina in the front view is a line. So we will copy this line to the moon, left hand corner. Place it here. Then we will go to the rotation command, copy off, and left hand and right hand will make it a 30 degree. Press enter left click and leave. Once this one is done, so we go to the angle between, measure the angle between this and this. Because see, if something goes wrong, the whole problem will be wrong. So better you have, once you do that, cross click. Okay, so once that one is done, so move the naming, so this point will remain as the same, and this point will remain the same. Either you can go to the move command, copy on, click on this one, Click. You can get wherever you want. Or else, click on this one, move to the boundary, and press Control and left click and drag. So you will copy and paste. So once this one is done, in order to get the 
top here, or exactly the digital top here, take up a line with the point 1, 3. There are uh, three methods to use. The first one will be random. So, where we will draw randomly vertical line from both the end and the horizontal line from both the end. Okay. And then we will go to the trim corner. Sorry, trim. And then we will trim all these x columns. Then we will take up a line with a point five thickness and join from all the Okay. So, this is the first one where we do with the random view. Okay. Where we have this line and we will finish it. Okay. The second one is we will use the alignment tool. Okay. So, for example, if I start from here, we are going down to so minus 90 degree. A, B. Okay, first will be it is on B. If you move towards the B, you can see the dotted line. Click here and jump to the C. And from here, again minus 90 degree. If you come down, you will show the dotted line. Click here. Click here. Okay, the same you can drop it from here. Click here. Minus 90 degree. Draw it. And from here, minus 90. Join here. Now you need not trace the line, you can just select bring a box and convert this into okay. this is the second method. And in third method, what we can do here is to uh, drop a vertical line, a small vertical line, and we'll move this one to the one more end here. Okay. And we'll have horizontal line from each end here. One and two. Okay. So, in the trim, you have a trim corner method. So, click on that one. You will just go with the A. A is here. So B is here. And C will be here. And D will be here. Okay. Now, the point A is missing here. So, there is a command called extend to next. So click on that one. Click on this line. So, we will finish up this one. Now, take a line with the point 5 which is so drawing the, the way in which we use them. The First method. Okay. So now go to the move command, copy or use the method. So whichever the method you feel easy, you follow that one and finish the file. Okay. So in the last one, what it says, okay, the resting edge, the head side on which it rests, is inclined at particularly to the BP. So the resting edge here is uh, AB, that means the one which lies perpendicular to the XY line and the left side only. Okay, so that is nothing but the AB. The first thing is we need to copy the square or the rectangle in the second position. Go to the move command, copy or from point B, move it here. Okay, now the relation between this line and XY line is 90 degree. So select the whole rectangle, go to the rotate command, okay, copy off left top corner, left bottom corner and here whenever we give for a rotation angle, we give 90 minus of a given angle, that is 45. So, click it here and make sure that it should not touch the x value. So, drag it down. Okay. So, first thing is go to the move command, copy or move the naming here. This is A. The resting edge should be inclined at a given angle. This is what is very important here. All these naming here, and next thing is show the angle between AB. This is the resting edge. Okay, so 45 degree. Okay. We need to project it upward, so you can use any one of the method which we discussed in the previous uh, step. Okay, I will use the alignment indicator. So this is A. Line should be 90 degree. A is on the x line. So from end B, it is on the x line. Here, so end C it is here so 90 degree. And just move the foot, so we'll get a point. And last is a B on the same line. C. Okay. Now make it dark, that's point five. So correct each end. Okay, and the, so better thing is we we'll go to the new command. Copy which is A and C 
The second thing we need to have a dash. We go to text command, put it here, put a dash, then move this one to each of the dash. So that's how exactly we can do the problem. So you can take up any problem in this database. Okay, that is rest on edge and edge is in plan. Okay, number one or number six, okay, where we say set square. Set square that will uh, give a uh, introduction to that. Okay? Number eight or number twelve or number nineteen or number thirty and so that's how it's that we can uh, discuss in the first question.